What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So what we have here in front of us is the ThinkPad X270. Now this should apply of course to the 260, 250, 250, 240 as well possibly. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and change out, apply new thermal paste and we'll see what else that we can cover along the way. So the first thing we want to do is remove the battery in the back. There's these two tabs that you want to pull and then you can slide your battery out. And then there's a number of screws that we're going to remove. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one in the, not really the center, but one over here as well. Just be gentle always when you're removing the the back cover because you don't want to break anything, any tabs that may be holding the cover on the laptop. So here we are, we're exposing right here our internals. Of course, we got our battery, our um, M.2 or SSD here, Wi-Fi card, your memory, you know, speaker, and... Uh, your CPU would be right here. So you have your fan, which you can clean with an air can. Um, I would just use something to kind of hold that fan from spinning. And then you can spray it and then just turn it a little bit as, you, as you're spraying it so that you can get the rest of the dust. I don't have an air can here next to me. So the, the CPU is, or the heat sink is held down by four screws. So I'll go ahead and loosen those up and I'll start. There's actually numbers. So you, you're gonna notice, let me actually t turn this a little bit and get a little bit closer. Uh, there's a number one here, number two, three, and then four. So you want to go in that order when you're loosening them. You want to go in the same order when you're putting them back on. Now, I'll just keep it this way. I can see the numbers. There's a little sticker thing here that I'm going to remove so that it doesn't get in our way. So let's go ahead and start with one. And I believe these screws remain on there two three put a little bit of pressure when you're turning it so you don't strip the screw you're gonna hear a little click and then it'll come off now the fan module itself um, I don't believe is held down by any screws um, but there is this cable that's tucked around here that you want to get out of the way. And there's another one over here as well. It's going to hold things down a little bit. So, um, But before you actually remove that fan module, you want to remove the connection here. So I'm going to use this plastic thing here just to tie that up. On this side, you're going to see a little um, tab, and then this will come out just like so. And then you can just lift this out of the way. And as you can see here, there's um, there's going to be CPU, I mean thermal paste, sorry. There's going to be thermal paste on the heat sink and on the CPU itself. Let's go ahead and set our heat sink fan module on the side here. And normally what I would use is a cotton swab and some rubbing alcohol. This is pretty much kind of similar, but I'm just going to use this microfiber towel here. And so apply a little bit, and then I'm going to clean the thermal paste off of the CPU. Again, you want to try to use something like a cotton swab or uh, a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. Clean it up as much as possible and then make sure it's dry. So go over it with something dry and dry it off so that it looks like new. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing again, same process. We'll take our heat sink and just clean off all of that old thermal paste And 
And again, I'm gonna use a dry side, just make sure it's fully dry. Okay, battery connection. Should have been first thing I did. I missed that part. All right, now, of course, before you do all this, make sure you do have some thermal grease or thermal paste. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a little bit on both sides here. So give or take, let me see, hopefully I have a little bit left in here. About yay so. You don't have to actually apply a lot. You just apply two dots right over there. And then we're gonna take our, let me try to clean this a little bit if I can. Now, the, the, if you're doing this, then it's better to clean the fan module when you remove it. So you can blow on it, just hold it down when you blow on it. from any dust there um, because if you don't hold it down it could cause the fan to malfunction as time goes all right so now to put everything back on try to keep it as straight as possible you don't want to keep wiggling it around um, um, as you put it down so what I'm gonna do I don't have to worry about um, my fan module really I'm gonna align the screws with the screw holes as much as possible um, and just drop it down, straight down, okay? And just so you know, you actually may have to hold those cables that were tucked in here, so hold them away from where you're gonna place your, your fan module. And uh, let's place that down, and then I'll go ahead and screw it in the same order, so number one, I'll just do it a little at a time. So one, two, three, four. And then I'll go back and I'll just tighten it fully. So one, two, I'll go, I'll do another pass again once once I go through this. And now I'm just gonna do a final pass and I'm just gonna make sure it's tight. Just enough, you don't have to overdo it. Just until you don't feel it spinning. You don't want your your um, your screwdriver bit to to strip the, the, the screw. So just do it enough. If you don't feel it tightening anymore, then you are good to go. So we'll go ahead and take those cables that were tucked in here. Let's put them back into position if I can. There's one. And and this cable was actually I think held down here with this tape which I'm not really worried about if it doesn't hold anymore cool now everything looks seated of course the last thing we want to do and this this is going to be the most tricky part to do with your finger is the ribbon cable you want to put it back into position so um, I'm gonna use like something like tweezers or just something that can assist of course be very very gentle with these ribbon cables you don't want to end up ripping it because otherwise you will have to get a whole um, part replacement now again this is the trickiest part because To do it with your hand, you don't have a lot of space. So what you could do, and I'll probably just do this right now, is remove my memory. It gives me a little bit more space here to kind of work it in with my with my finger instead. And it doesn't really go in a lot. Um, just kind of hold it and then put this, push this little tab down, and then that's pretty much it. So there's two, I'm going to go ahead and open it one more time just to show you guys. There's two lines, white lines, right? The, the, once you put it in and you put this tab back on, you'll only see one line visible. The other one is going to be covered. Now, 
removing the memory is actually very, very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and slide my memory back on. And of course, to remove the memory, is just these two tabs. You want to pull them away from each other and then slide your memory out to put it in, slide it in, push it down, clicks. And that is it. Now, all we got to do is make sure you don't forget your battery connection here. Put this back on. And we'll take our back cover and we'll put that back on. There's some clicking that happens here at the top. Must maybe the center, but just make sure that everything looks pretty flush. And before you actually screw everything back on, you want to go ahead and turn on your laptop and make sure that it's working. Um, I'm not sure if this one has any battery life. So try it out. This one does not have any battery life. But make sure that you um, go ahead and test it out. Make sure that everything is working before you go ahead and screw everything back on. Um, just to save yourself from having to unscrew everything again to see what's going on. And then, of course, we'll take our battery, we'll slide it into position. Here, I click. It's like this tab is actually going bad here. Oh, yeah, I got it to come back on. Just pushed it down to click. And we are done, guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, any video suggestions, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one.